Hey guys, welcome back. Um, excuse me if I sound a little sick today. I am. But, uh, <clears throat> this is just a super flat world that I made for redstone stuff. Ignore that. Uh, well, if you've seen my other redstone videos, you know what it is. But anyway. Um, this, uh, I just watched one of Etho's videos, um, where he built something like this, but seemed to have trouble getting it to work. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was wrong with it. Like, I, I don't know how it worked in the first place for him, the way he did it, because, uh, and if, Etho, if you're watching this, then I don't know how he managed to get it to work. Um, because the way he, he had it was that under here, these two wires were connected so that the buttons were essentially one input. I don't know how he could possibly have made it so that it changed anything. Because, okay, what it does is it swaps the blocks, right? You press right, the blocks swap to the right. Um, I'm just using these wool blocks. I, I tried to make it... In his video, he um, he had a row of wool blocks that he wanted to use like this, but I forgot what order they were in, and I tried doing the rainbow, but I didn't have enough, so I ended up just... I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> um, so it just cycles down the colors. Obviously, you can see it's going to the right when I hit the right button. Then when I hit the left button, it goes to the left. Um... The only thing that I changed from Ethos version was that instead of down here, like, okay, I'm just going to break these for now. Um, down here on his version, it went like this. And uh, instead, I just put a block here so that the buttons will feed into this block, but won't come out the other side. Because these, these uh, redstone dusts here will power blocks like this, but the only way you can get the power out of them is by using repeaters, which I don't actually have any in my inventory right now. Excuse me for this. Um, nor am I going to be able to find them, of course. Okay, I know they're somewhere down the bo down by the bottom here. Okay, there we go. Oh, these are my records that I just made, um, things. I wasn't going for, like, orb kind of things. Oh, and my texture pack doesn't have the bottle of enchantings yet. So, bottles of enchanting. Or the eggs. But anyway. Um, so I just put this down here. And left it at one tick delay. And, uh... Everything else is the same. These are these are still three ticks because these are just pulse limiters. Um, <clears throat> I did come over here, and the difference of the blocks there's uh, the ones that the pistons that go first um, have a one tick delay or one you know one setting delay, and uh, this one down here is set to four, so there's a three delay difference between the two. Um, sometimes like down here it was just more convenient to have one that affected both and then just affect this one again with another repeater but they all have the same delay being that the one that goes first has one tick delay and the one that goes second has four ticks delay because like this one is already slowed down by th is already delayed by this one right here so instead of putting it to four like this one I put it to three but uh, down there that one has just one and this one has four anyway um, also that stuff that you see in the background is lava and water, because I did stuff in the latest pre-release, or latest, uh, snapshot, and it stopped the world from remembering that it was a super flat world, so it started generating normal terrain over there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, uh, Etho, if you're seeing this, I hope this helps. I'm gonna be putting this as a response to the video if I can, if I can figure out how, at least, um, and as soon as possible. I'd, I'd love to see, uh you manage to make your, the timer you're looking for because it'd be really cool. I'll put a link to the video that I'm going to be submitting this as a response to in the description of this video. So, yeah. If it if it lets me, that is. I mean, it might... I don't know. I've heard people say stuff about it not letting links in the description. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, yeah, if you want to see how this is built... Well, for the most part, he built it all, except for these little areas that go over off to the pistons. But that's not that hard to figure out. Uh, well, at least it wasn't for me, I suppose. I shouldn't assume. But yeah, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.